Good day, my name is Kmut. This presentation is a continuation of the appropriation statement for 2016 question paper. I've already dealt with uh, the appropriation statement items in the previous presentations. In this presentation specifically, I'd like to deal with the share of loss. I'd like to commence by emphasizing that the net profit of 33,847 as highlighted in blue as per the income statement should be transferred to the appropriation statement as highlighted in blue in the appropriation statement. For you to end a method mark, the two items have to be exactly the same. The next thing that you need to do is to calculate the balance of the net profit. I'd like to emphasize that when you share the profit to the partners, we never share the net profit as per the income statement. We always have to take uh, the net profit as per the income statement and adjust it with uh, items appearing under the income statement. So essentially what we're going to do, we're going to start with the net profit and then we're going to adjust with uh, the total the total interest account of 32,200, the total interest on current account of 174,000, and the total amount of salary of 91,000, of 90,000. I quickly want to go to the November 2017 so that we can establish where we take the profit sharing ratio. So if you go to the partnerships agreement provision, and if you look at the last line, it relates to uh, the distribution of profit or loss. And we're specifically told that it should be distributed in the ratio of two is to one between kite and Corey. Two would represent kite and one would represent Corey. Without wasting any time, I'd like to go to the slide that focuses on the calculation of the share or the determination of uh, the balance of profit. As I've emphasized earlier on, that we never share the net profit as per the income statement, but we need to adjust it by other items that appear on the appropriation uh, statement as per the partnerships provisions. So you're going to begin by taking the net profit as per the income statement. As I've already mentioned, you're going to take uh, the interest on capital amongst the other items of the appropriation statement. You're going to take the total amount. You already know how the total amount was determined. We're going to minus it from the net profit amount. The reason it's a minus is because the, the partners in this case are entitled uh, to the interest on capital. The next item we're going to take into account is the interest on current account. Remember specifically for this uh, portion of interest, um, the partnership could be entitled to the interest on current account because partners had a negative uh, uh, a debit balance of the current account. Or the partners could be entitled to the interest on current account. To cut the story short, in this case, uh, the, the, the partner, the business, uh, or the, the partnership um, was expected to pay the amount of the net amount of 174 to the partners. The next item as per the statement of appropriation uh, statement is the 90,000 relating to kite. That amount is going to be deducted as well from uh, the net profit because kite is entitled to 90,000. The purpose of the exercise, as I've mentioned, was to determine the balance of the net profit. In this case, we established that we had a loss to be shared uh, amongst the partners. The reason this resulted into a loss because if you compare your net profit of 33,847 and all amounts that were deducted against the net profit, 
those amounts were actually greater than the net profit. Hence, we came up with a loss of 91,527. In this slide, I'd like to discuss principles relating to the uh, uh, determination of the profit sharing ratio. As specified under the partnership agreement in the question paper, we were specifically told that uh, the partners uh, will share uh, uh, the remaining profit in a ratio of two, which represents kite, as to one, which represents kori. So the thought process is always to take, if it's given in this sense, the thought process is to take the two relating to kite and the one relating to kori, you're going to add them together, we're going to get a three. Now the three will, 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 will um, be a denominator in determining the profit sharing ratio for each partner. What I mean is, let's start with Kate. For Kate, we're gonna take the two. So Kate uh, brought two um, in respect of the total amount of three. So the profit sharing ratio will be two over three for Kate. The same logic applies to Corey. It will be one over three. In this slide, I want to do the actual the sharing of the loss that will be transferred to the appropriation statement. Now we're going to apply it, uh, the uh, profit sharing ratio as determined in the previous slide and multiply by um, the balance of profit which uh, came to a loss as determined in the previous slide. So for Kate, we're going to take 2 over 3, multiply by 91,527, which results to 61,018 rands. I'm quickly going to uh, post that amount, 61,018 rands. Remember, in this case, it's a loss, so it's a minus figure. It's 61,018 rands uh, for Corey, for Kate, for Kate. Um, the same logic applies in determining Corey's uh, uh, share of loss. It will be determined by taking the profit sharing ratio of 1.3, 1 over 3, as determined in the previous slide, multiplying by the 91,527 of the resulting loss, as determined in the previous slide. So if you apply that, you get to amount of 30,509. Once more again, we're going to transfer it to the appropriation statement. It's a, it's a loss, so I'm going to start by minus. It's 30,509. There you go. It's important that uh, your total column of the share of loss, uh, which in this case is 91,527, should always be equal to uh, the amount that was uh, shared to, to the partners. If not, that could be a hint that you did something wrong. Okay, this is how the complete uh, appropriation statement looks like. Uh, just a quick overview on the presentation of the or the structure of the appropriation statement. It's always important that you have the total column. Uh, I'm only going to discuss uh, the interest on capital account and please apply the same logic in regards to other items. Uh, you see that cell is the sum of uh, Kate's interest on capital. So it, it, it is the sum of uh, B25, which relates to Kate's interest on capital, and C25, which relates to Corey's interest on capital. It's important that you communicate this total column in regards to all items of the appropriation section, as you will earn easy marks. Uh, once more again, thank you very much.